Hello, my name is Ian, and this is the Snip to It photo editing tutorial. In this mini tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a photo image ready to convert to an SVG file for Cricut Design Space using free image editing software. I want to pay close attention to some easy edits that will really make a big difference in the quality of image you can get when converting a photo to an SVG file. The image I'm using is a picture of a dog I worked with at an animal shelter a few years ago. It's not the best quality image, but it's a candid photo of the type that most people would want to incorporate into a personal project. For this tutorial, I am using Photopea, a free web-based photo editor that is a great alternative to Photoshop. Photopea has an impressive suite of tools that will help us turn this photo to a high quality black and white image that can easily be traced into the SVG file format for Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. We need to open our source image and I can either use the quick start prompt command on the front page of photopea.com or I can navigate up to File in the top menu and select Open from the pull-down menu. When the photo file is open, the first thing we do is convert it to black and white. So we select Image in the top menu bar, then we click the Adjustments option from the pull-down menu, and then we select the Hue Saturation option from the next pull-down menu. The saturation setting is the middle slider, and we want to slide it all the way to the left or set the value to negative 100. Next, I want to bump up the contrast values to really give us a more clearly delineated black and white image. I do this by going to the image setting in the top menu. Then I roll over the adjustments menu setting, and then I click brightness and contrast at the top of the submenu. I want to adjust the contrast value way up, so I select 50% or 60 or even 75% depending on the image. At this point, we want to do a bit of editing. You can see in this photo, the dog's eyes are starting to get washed out. And if we ignore that and skip to the next steps, the eye will completely wash out and give me a kind of creepy hollow eye look, which is not cute or endearing. You can also have an eye that is in shadow that gets completely lost in black when we take the next steps to convert it to an SVG file. You could fix these in your vector editor or even in Cricut Design Space, but making the fix at this point in the photo editor is easiest because you can use a simple paintbrush tool or an eraser tool to make the touch-ups easily while you're still dealing with pixels rather than vectors and paths. So I select the paintbrush option from the toolbar on the left-hand side. I want to darken the pupil here to make sure it shows up in the finished graphic. I can right click when the paintbrush tool is activated and select the brush size I need. And then I click to apply the painted pixels where I want them. In this case, that's right over the dog's eye. After I've done this small touch up with the paintbrush tool, I'm going to apply an artistic filter called oil paint. This filter smooths out the image and helps me get a better result before I apply the threshold adjustment in the final step of this tutorial. To apply the oil paint filter, click your mouse on the filter option in the top navigation bar, then scroll down to stylize, then select oil paint from the pullout menu. Adjust the sliders until you get a result that gives you a smooth looking image without a lot of texture. Now comes the final step in the image editor. Once again, navigate to the image section in the top menu bar. Then select adjustments, then select threshold from the pullout menu. The threshold filter converts images into high contrast black and white images. You can specify a certain level as a threshold. The higher the threshold value, up to 255, the blacker the image will be. The lower the threshold value, the whiter the image will appear. The default value is 128, and for this example, the default value, or something close to it, will be fine. At this point, I want to show you the reason why I made adjustments to the dog's eye with the paintbrush tool in the previous step. 
When you don't make that kind of edit, you see that the details are completely washed out when you apply the oil paint filter. And when you apply the threshold filter, you see that the dog has no eye at all. That's not a good look, and it won't make a good graphic to convert to an SVG cut file. Now that our edits in PhotoP are finished, we can save this image as a PNG file so it can be easily imported into Inkscape and traced into SVG format. Navigate to the file setting in the top menu bar, scroll down to export as, and select PNG from the menu. Save it to your computer, and that's the final step. Thanks for watching this mini tutorial video from Snip2It.